Welcome back to the Print On Demand cast. In this week's episode, we're going to be talking about consistency in your print on demand business. Let's get into it. Radical. Welcome to this week's episode of the Print On Demand cast. Each week, join the gnarly Travis and Josiah as they provide insight into the print-on-demand industry and equip you with the totally tubular tools, advice, and strategies you need to achieve success and hopefully have a few laughs along the way. Now on to this week's Totally Tubular show. Well, hey, everybody. Uh, Welcome to episode 217. We're going to be talking about consistency today in your print on demand business. Um, but before we get to that, as you can tell, this is another solo episode. Josiah cannot, could not make it. Um, he's been very busy with some new things that have developed in his life and, uh, hopefully he'll be able to be on next week and share a little bit about that. Um, as far as I, I'm going or I'm doing, um, things are, just kind of going really fast lately. We had uh, a conference at our church last weekend. And then um, I think I might've mentioned last week, uh, we, my, my in-laws were in town and they, they were here until uh, let's see Monday. So yeah, it's been pretty crazy. A lot of, a lot of things happening. Um, I've got an order over there that I need to get out a local order. I've got another person, um, chomping at the bit to order some more stuff. And then of course, we're still ramping up for Q4, trying to get as many products as we can. Um, I, I did, uh, actually sell a, uh, my first, um, ornament of the season, uh, recently. So that's a good sign, hopefully of, of, of good things to come. It was a custom ornament. So we changed some things for the customer and they ordered three of them. So, um, I will be telling, sharing with you a little bit more about how I went about that and how I did that on my Etsy account, probably next week or maybe the week after, I don't know, but, uh, at some point, maybe I'll do a video or something, but, um, was pretty, pretty cool. And, um, so yeah, I think we're, we're here, we're in Q4, things are moving forward, whether we like it or not. So hopefully you're getting those listings up, uploaded and updated and, um, yeah, so hopefully um, you liked last week's episode. We talked to Cole uh, from the Printing United uh, show floor. Um, I had an interview with him, and um, I just released that. It was an audio only, but if you haven't listened to it, it's a, it's a pretty good listen. Uh, we talk a lot about kind of the state of the industry and some other ideas that you could be doing potentially um, in the realm of kind of your local area. And we talked a little bit about the company he's working with, Click Peel. Uh, they do DTF transfers, which makes it really, really easy for you to do small runs, you know, for your local PTA or whoever. So I won't talk any more about that. I think uh, we're going to go ahead and push on. We don't have a point of interest this week, but of course, I would be remiss if we did not get to the weekly dad joke. Time for the weekly dad joke. All right. So this week, our weekly dad joke, um, I I tried... Mex, uh, mi- mixing some Mexican alcohol with 20th century American literature last night. I know that sounds crazy, but I ended up with Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs> That's your weekly dad joke uh, brought to you by your friends at the Pernanda Man cast. Hopefully you liked it, thought it was funny. Share that with whoever you'd like to. Um, Like I mentioned, we don't have a point of interest this week. Um, So we're just going to jump right in to the main event, talking about some some benefits of consistency in your print-on-demand business. Main event, who's calling? All right. So main event is the benefits of consistency and print on demand. And I think some of this is kind of um, goes without saying, and you probably already know it, but uh, I think there's a few things in here that we could jump into and it'll be hopefully 
beneficial to you. And also, I just want to kind of tease out that if you stay to the end, I am going to provide a um, a link that you can go download a resource that I created, and uh, that's it's a free resource. You can have it, and um, basically just a free little tool that might help you stay a little organized and stay a little consistent. So we all know uh, print on demand can be a grind, you know, um, there's designs that have to be made. You know, you got to decide what niche you're in. And if you want to go into this other niche, then you need to do research on that niche and you got to figure out what's selling and what's not selling, what people are doing that is it's good. And, um, you know, then you've got to figure out what keywords you can use to, uh, you know, get in front of the people that are your customers and what words are you going to use? What kind of SEO, what, what your title is going to be? Um, you know, there's, then you got to upload the products and you got to create mock-ups, you know? And so there's just a lot to it and it can become overwhelming. And I say this because, uh, you know, I've experienced this. <laughs> um, I've experienced kind of the overwhelm and just like the, oh my gosh, uh, I got to do this again. And it, it, it can be debilitating, you know? And so one of the things that, um, as we talk about consistency that I didn't really necessarily put on our notes, but as I was thinking about consistency, one of the, one of the things that I think we could start with, um, before we get to like the business practices is really kind of, um, having a consistency in your mindset or being consistent with your mindset. Because I think that this is the key thing that can reduce your overwhelm. And so a couple of things about um, using consistency in your mindset. Uh, the first thing is, is gonna be, you know, well, <laughs> I guess I'd be kind of remiss if I didn't say, go listen to episode 215. I talk a lot about it there. It's a very good episode. Is it 215? Let me just double check real quick. I think it is, but. Actually, no, I don't think it is. Um, three, two, one, 205. Yeah, so it's 10 off. <laughs> um, yeah, episode 205, I talk about self-sabotage and how it affects your business. And I do jump in a little bit to mindset. But when we're talking about mindset and consistency, you know, you, you need to have consistency to... Um, to positive reinforcement. To You need to have a consistency of being... Uh, putting yourself in positions that you can um, be self-motivated, you know, constantly cultivating this positive mindset, you know, this, you're doing good, you're doing a good job, you know, and not giving in to those mental, uh, those self-sabotaging thoughts that jump in the way and, or jump in into your thought process, you know, that you're not doing enough, you're not doing good enough, your designs aren't good enough, you know, no one's going to like your stuff, um, I'm never, no one's ever going to see it, you know, and, and, and that type of thing, you need to be able to identify those types of, uh, those types of thoughts and then immediately release them and say, hmm, that might be true, but I'm not going to listen to that. And what I like to do is when I, a lot of times I'll just, I'll get frustrated and I'll, I might say something. I just like, ah, this is stupid, you know? And what I'll do in that moment, if, if I remember to realize it, I will just take a second and I'll go, I'll just exhale deeply. I'll just, whew, okay. And for me, that's a reset. That's uh, something that will allow me to just be like, none of that other stuff matters. I'm in the here and now I'm in the present. And this is the consistency I'm talking about. When you can have a consistency of awareness of how you're feeling and how um, your emotions can get in the way of being a successful print on demand business owner. And so that's one of the things that I use. Um, I also try to do some, uh, some daily affirmations. I'm not as good at this as, as I, um, as I, I was, as I would like to be, but I'm better than I was before. <laughs> and so I'm going to take that win and I'm going to continue to try to be better and try to do those things because I know that when I focus my mind on positive things, positive things happen, you know, and, um, these types of things can be considered, oh, that's just, uh, you know, that's, that's silly. That's goofy. That doesn't really work. It's, it's, it's voodoo magic. Um, but the bottom line is, is that what has your attention has you. And if negative thoughts have your attention, 
then that's what has you and and you can't go beyond that. And so when you can become aware and choose to make a different choice when it comes to your emotions, because you get to control your emotions, no one else does. And when you can make a positive decision to control those emotions, you can become more consistent with the things that are actually going to help you in your print on demand business. Okay. So that was completely off script. <laughs> Um, I don't have any notes on that, but I just wanted to say a couple of things about that because I, I think that that is as important as anything else I'm going to say on this podcast today. Uh, so back to the notes, the power of consistency is huge. And I think that you would realize that I'm going to talk about the power of consistency and uploading. <laughs> um, this has so many benefits. If you can be consistent in uploading, uh, let's just take a few. So the visibility, um, vis visibility in the algorithms or in, you know, on a platform, the algorithms love that they love that activity. They love you continually, consistently uploading, having new prop, uh, products, platforms like Etsy really love it. Redbubble really loves it. And they prioritize active shops. Um, consistent uploads will increase the algorithmic uh, visibility, if you will. It might not do it but much. I mean, it might only be just a small kind of boost and you might not even notice it. But um, over time, all of these things that I'm going to be talking about combined can boost your vis your overall visibility, but it starts with just being consistent and uploading, you know? Um, th and there's a couple of things that happen when you, not just the algorithm um, and, and the effect that your consistency has on the algorithm, but some other things can happen too, because more designs equal more opportunities. I mean, that's kind of a no brainer, right? It's simple math. The more products, you have on a platform mean the more chances you have to be discovered for a product. One and and the one design that could be the next best seller um, is only going to become the best seller if it's actually uploaded, <laughs> if it's actually on the platform. You know, um, then it 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 also creates momentum because when you establish uh, a routine, something that you're doing all the time, it it over time, it becomes easier to maintain. And so you're creating kind of a, a momentum, even a culture, if you will, of uploading, of co consistently uploading. Uh, and momentum is is totally, is t the key to long-term success. The more momentum you have, the, the, the more you'll benefit in the long run because it keeps you in the game. Um, this one's really cool. Uh, this next one is the one of the benefits of being consistent in your uploading is... Uh, your basically your practice makes perfect. You know, the more you upload, um, the better you're going to get at it and not just uploading, but you're going to get better at your skills and design because you got to have designs to be able to upload, right? You're going to get better at your SEO, um, because you're going to, you're going to have more, uh, opportunity to practice this and you're going to have a better understanding of your audience. Consistency leads to faster and better outcomes over time. Okay. You're going to get better at it. Practice makes perfect. You know, I mean, we, we talk about, um, you know, no one's going to be really, really good at this when they first start out. You know, I mean, you're not going to be good at anything when you first start out. LeBron James wasn't good at basketball until he practiced, you know, and then he practiced more than pretty much anybody on the planet and became one of the best ball players of anybody on the planet. Now, yeah, he had some skill. And to be fair, skill does come into play in this. You might not be a great designer. And someone who is a great designer probably has a leg up on you if you're both consistent. Um, but over time, consistency will win out over talent. Okay. Uh, if if the one with talent is consistent, they'll win out, obviously. But if they're if they just have talent and they rely on the talent, but they're not consistent, I mean, there are so many, you know, just continuing continuing with the NBA example, there's so many incredibly talented basketball players that could never be in the NBA because they weren't consistent enough. They didn't practice hard enough. They didn't continually put in the reps. And, and that's actually kind of a, it should be an encouragement because you can become good or at least better at what you're doing through consistency. Um, and then the other thing that consistency does is that it gives better exposure 
to all of your products. A, a single new upload could boost your entire store's visibility because one upload just happened to do really good. And all of a sudden you're getting traffic to your site because people are like, I wonder what else they've done. And all of a sudden your store visibility is off the, off, you know, off the charts. And then the algorithm sees that and it's like, okay, we need to put more of this person's stuff in front of people. And so you get just one single upload and you never know when that's going to necessarily be, you know? Um, so uh, yeah, new uploads can bring renewed attention even to your older stuff, the stuff that you did a long time ago. Um, maybe it just never caught on in the algorithm, but you upload this new thing and it does. And now someone sees this other thing and the older thing is what they really like or what, you know, maybe that's what rises to the top. You just never know what's going to be the factor. Okay. I've got several uh, other benefits of consistency here. I'm just going to kind of rattle them off. Uh, the first one is that it builds trust with your audience. Um, you know, regular update signal, you know, and this isn't just on Etsy. This is on Shopify. This is on wherever. Um, regular update signal that your store is active and it's reliable. People can come and they can return and they know there's something going to be new. They, they like that and they like that reliability and they can continue to um, shop with you. So it benefits your, uh, the trust that you have with your audience. Um, it also allows you to stay ahead of trends because um, consistent uploading allows you to quickly upload or quickly capitalize on trends because you were already going to make that product. You know, you were already going to make so many products that day or that so many listings that day. So you might as well just take that trend and insert it into your workflow. And, and so you're, you're going to get something up there quicker than somebody who only just does it one day, one day a week or one day a month. And they just upload a whole bunch or they do, you know, they're inconsistent in their uploading. Um, you have the benefit of being, having a set time every single day or every single week or however long, and you know, you're going to do it. And then something happens, a trend or something, you see something happening and you can just jump on it, a social trend. Uh, uh, gosh, there's so many things that happen and you've seen, you've seen sales uh, of products in the past from things that have happened um, in our, in our culture, you know, and uh, something that's happened in the news and bam, there's a hundred shirts, you know, up. Well, you could be one of those hundred shirts and you can capitalize on that trend uh, because you're being consistent. It'll improve your workflow. Um, regular uploads will help you refine and optimize your process. I kind of talked about this. Um, you're going to see, what works and what could be improved. So I, I talked about it in this, in, in the idea that uh, you're going to just get better at it. You know, you're going to be a better designer, a better SEO person, you know, you're going to understand keywords better, uh, all of those things, but you're also going to be able to learn what works and what doesn't work in your workflow. Like what, you know, does it make sense to use this tool or does it make sense to use this tool? Well, man, I'm spending so much time using, you know, a tool like place it to manually do all every single mock-up. Let me look into this, this bulk mock-up that Travis always talks about, and maybe I could learn that and it would become, I could become more efficient. So as you're doing the same things over and over, even though you're doing the same things over and over, you, you also can learn new ways of doing them. Maybe if you, uh, saved them in a different folder folder structure or something it could make it easier for you to get them uploaded maybe you after a while you realize you know what every time i do this particular product i like to have these specific slides or these specific mock-ups maybe i'm going to create a canva template and i'll always have those and then all i have to do is change the you know the the design on this canva template and I can download the whole thing as a zip folder. I have one file and boom, I have all my mockups for that particular uh, product every time I do it. And maybe I do that for my next product and my other product. You know, So there's different things like that that you can um, get better at and, and recognize because you're being consistent. So increased efficiency is what we're looking for here. And that's always going to free up your time for other tasks. You know, So um, I'll say one other thing about improving your workflow. Um, once you have this workflow in place and, and you're being consistent, um, you have the ability to potentially like record yourself doing that 
and then outsourcing that to a virtual assistant. We talk about hiring virtual assistants all the time, but because you're doing it all the time, it it's so second nature to you. You literally can just turn on the screen recorder and it's it, there's no surprises. It's not going to be hard to talk somebody through how to do it because you've done it so many times. You're practicing your script, so to speak. You know, you're practicing the video that you're going to use to train the person to take that part over. And you might not even have them take it over. Maybe they just uh, increase your number that you're doing every single week. So uh, that's another thing that it will definitely improve your workflow because you're just doing it and you're seeing the holes, you're seeing how you can be more efficient, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it'll also allow you to give uh, to, to make data-driven decisions because the more uploads you have, the more data you have to actually analyze, you know? So it's gonna help you identify patterns and make informed decisions about, well, this, when I say these words, uh, or, or in my description, it does better than when I say these words, when I use these types of mockups, it does better than when I do these types of mockups, et cetera, et cetera. You're just going to have more data because you have so many listings. Uh, it'll foster creativity. Um, consistency can actually boost your creativity because regular design work is going to not only make you better at it, but it's going to lead you to new ideas and new innovations. When you're focused on something continually, you tend to get better at it and you tend to, it, it really does kind of get the creative juices flowing. Um, you're going to, it's going to, you're going to build a strong portfolio over time. Of course, diversifying your store with regular uploads attracts a broader audience. So if you have all kinds of, I mean, you're going to have so many different types of things. So, and it reduces the risk of not relying on a single niche or a single design style. So on Etsy, that could be a really good thing. You know, um, maybe if you're doing for a brand or a Shopify, it's not exactly, um, it's it's it it would be different, but definitely like on Etsy or on Amazon, you know, you're going to have a whole lot more products uh, out there to um, to grow with. Um, and then, uh, yeah, regular upload gives you content to share with your audience. If you're going to use, you know, um, advertising or if you have, you know, you're going to post in groups or you're going to create a group or you're going to have some type of social media outreach. You just have more content because you have so many more products. Um, and, you know, you just have things to talk about with your community because you're constantly um, researching new designs. You're coming across new things, new ideas, new topics that you could, you know, potentially um, create community with uh, your group that, um, you've built in Facebook or wherever on Instagram, when you're, sh you know, showing your things, you'll just have more content to be able to produce because you're producing more listings, which equals more content. Okay. So that's, there's a lot of reasons. <laughs> I think, um, there's a ton of reasons to be more consistent with your listings and just in your business in general. Um, I'd like to propose a simple challenge of five uploads a day. I, I think if you did this for one week, you get 25 uploads, you know, just the weekdays. Maybe if you want to add a weekend day, uh, we'll do, you know, it could be 30 or something like that. But, you know, even if you don't want to do five, start small, you know, three uploads a day. Um, it Over time, it'll make a significant difference, you know, especially right now when we're in Q4. This is super, super important. Um, it's it's big right now. <laughs> um, the more listings you have, there, there's just, it's just crazy how many people are actually going to be buying over the next couple months for Christmas and the holidays and all of that. So you want to have as many listings as possible. So right now is the time to challenge yourself. Um, just imagine the impact, you know, better habits, more practice, increased sales, et cetera, et cetera, more data to analyze, um, you know, can, Commit to a schedule. And so here's, here's, I talked earlier about, um, you know, I have a, uh, I have a tool that I made and it's, it's, it's a, it's basically a spreadsheet that I put some formulas in. It's not really super, it's not rocket science, but maybe it'll help. Um, it's going to track your consistency. It's, it's basically a weekly listing creation tracker. So it gives you the ability to, um, make a target for the week, you know, say, Hey, I want to do 30 listings this week. And then it spreads it out over the week, you know, so that over, if it was five days and then we'll just use one day for the weekend. So it's over six days of the week, 
um, you're going to do five a day. So one day you might do four, one day you might do six, one day you might do zero, one day you might do 10. You know, I mean, it just depends kind of how your week goes. Um, but then it tracks all of that and you can, you know, week by week by week by week, you can see at the number at the top, you know, total uploads keeps going up and it, it's hopefully motivating. And you can see what your actual listings are and what your targets are. Um, yeah, it's, 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 like I said, it's a simple tool, but it's really easy to use. You just, you know, can update it every day when you do your listings, but start and try to do a week of daily uploads. I don't care if it's five, three, 10, um, just try to start with that and see how it feels. Uh, and then use this listing tracker to, to track that. And then next week, maybe you know, maybe you want to do less. That's fine. You know, it's, it's whatever you want to do, just keep tracking it. But, uh, you can get that. It's just a Google, Google sheet. So if you have a Google account, you'll need to copy the sheet into your account and then you can rename it, whatever you want. And then you'll be able to edit it. Um, just go to, uh, printondemandcast.com slash listing dash tracker. That's printondemandcast.com slash listing dash tracker. Um, it's not like an email capture thing. It's literally, you'll just get a you'll, it'll just open up a google sheet and you'll have it and you can copy it it's just something i wanted to give to you guys um it'll also that link will also be in the show notes and um just wanted to encourage you to track your listings um your listing creation hopefully that will uh become more of a reality that you are just more consistent in creating these listings so i think we can all agree that it's super important and um I just really want to encourage you to make that a goal in your business that you're consistent with that. If it's not you, somebody else in your business um, is consistently uploading for all the reasons that we talked about today. So um, that is it for me. I It's a little bit shorter. We're just coming up on what? the 27 minute mark. That's pretty, pretty quick, but, um, yeah, without Josiah here to bounce stuff off of it, it, it does go a little bit quicker, but, um, I just wanted to, tell y'all I appreciate you. And I really am thankful that you would spend, you know, a half hour to an hour with us every week. And, uh, if, um, if I can ever do anything for you or, or help you in any way, please, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can jump on a discovery call with me. Uh, if you'd like, there's a link in the show notes as well as on the weekly newsletter. We can see if it makes sense for us to work together. Um, I do have some other things that are going on in the background that I'm going to be announcing over the next months and i um, pretty excited about it. So with that, uh, for Josiah, I'm Travis, and I will see you next time right here on the Print On Demand cast. See ya. Hey, babe. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of the Print On Demand cast. We hope you enjoyed the Totally Tubular Show. If you've got a question or a suggestion for the show, send Travis and Josiah an email at info at printondemandcast.com. Want to be wicked nice? Take a minute to rate and review the show on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe now so you don't miss next week's episode. See you next time for sure.